Smart Configurator is a GUI-based tool that can generate code for drivers and middlewares and configure pins easily. The objective of this video is to create a LED blinking program by using Smart Configurator. The following resources are required for this example. Target Board, Renesis Starter Kit Plus for RX65 and 2MB Board. Emulator, E2 Emulator Lite. IDE, E Square Studio version 6.3.0. Tool Chain, Renesis RXC Tool Chain. Connect RX65 and board to E2 Lite emulator and connect the E2 Lite emulator to PC. In this example, LED2 will be configured to blink every 5000 count, around 80 milliseconds. This is the schematic diagram of RX65 and board. We can see that port G, PG6, is connected to LED2. Port G and CMT0 will be configured to blink the LED in this example. This video is divided into four parts as shown. In E Square Studio, go to File, New, C C++ Project to start new project generation. Select Renesis RX. Renesa CCRXC C++ Executable Project and click Next. Give an appropriate name to the project, for example, Smart Configurator Example. Click Next. Select Target Device as R5F565NEDXFC. Select Emulator as E2 Lite, RX. Keep Other Settings as Default and click Next. Make sure checkbox Smart Configurator is checked and click Finish. New project has been created. Firstly, we will add the component. Double click the SCFG file in Project Explorer to open Smart Configurator pane, select the Components tab and click the Add Component button to add new component. We will add compare match timer driver into the project. Type timer to the filter box and select compare match timer component. Click next to continue. Select CMT0 as resource. Keep the default configuration name. Source files and API will be generated based on this configuration name. Click finish. Next, we will configure the component we have added. In the Configure panel of Config CMT0, set count clock setting as PCLK512. Set the interval value to 5000 count. Ensure the checkbox of Enable Compare Match Interrupt, CMI0, is ticked. Following the same steps, next, we will add port driver into the project. Click the Add Component button to add new component. Type port to the filter box and select Ports Component. Click Next to continue. Keep the default configuration name and click Finish. In the Configure panel of Config Port, select Port Selection tab and check Port G checkbox. Select Port G tab. At PG6 section, Select Out and Check Output 1 checkbox to set LED2 to OFF status initially. At Pins tab, click the Show by Hardware Resource or Software Components button to switch to Software Components view. Click Config Port and type PG in the Pin Function filter. Ensure PG6 pin is enabled. Click the Generate Code button to generate code and check for the message. Code generation is successful at console. Files are generated into SRC, SMC Gen folder of the project. Open RCG user defined.h file, in the part between the beginning and the end of the comment, add LED2 port setting. Open config cmt0 user.c. 
in our config cmt0 cmi0 interrupt function, add code to toggle LED2. In src folder, open smart configurator example.c, in main function, add code to start cmt0 operation. Click on the project in Project Explorer. Then select Project, Build Project to build the project. Check the message in console window to make sure project is built successfully. Select Run, Debug Configurations, to open the Debug Configurations window. Click on Smart Configurator Example Hardware Debug. Go to the Debugger tab and click on Connection Settings tab. Make sure the following settings are correct. Debug Hardware, E2 Lite, RX. Target Device, R5F565NE. Main Clock Source, Extel. Extel Frequency, 24 MHz. Permit Clock Source Change on Writing Internal Flash Memory, Yes. Power target from the emulator, yes. At startup tab, uncheck set breakpoint at main. Then click apply to apply the changes and click close to close the dialog. Run debug with smart configurator example hardware debug configuration. When program stops at power on reset PC, press resume button to continue. On the board, Observe that LED2 is blinking when program is running. Click disconnect button to end debug session.